of emergency, please note that the exit doors are totally located in the rear and front of the auditorium. Don't forget to silence all electronic devices. And please note there is no video or flash photography allowed. There is also no food or beverage allowed either. Yeah, don't be rude. Okay, I think we covered everything. Enjoy the show! Excuse me, have you seen this? 
It just came in. Why, it's perfect for a blonde. Right, with a half lip stitch on china silk. Uh-huh. But the thing is, you can't use a half lip stitch on china silk. It'll pucker. And you didn't just get this in because I saw it in last May's Vogue. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. I'm not about to buy last year's dress at this year's price. Bounce all right through that salesman's box. It may be perfect for a blonde, but I'm not that blonde. I may be in love, but I'm not stupid, mister. I've got eyes. Oh my god, that was so about a Pooh Bear, but they 
they expect a lot from me. I mean, I'm going to Harvard Law School, and my brother, he's at Yale Law. No, so is, no, no, no. So is his new wife, and she's a Vanderbilt, for Christ's sake. Oh, so I'm not good enough for you, Warner. I'm from Malibu. I'm not exactly trailer trash here. Richard Simmons is our neighbor. Ellen, if I'm going to be a senator when I'm 30, I'm going to need somebody serious. Less of a Maryland, more of a Jackie. Serious. Somebody classy and not too tacky. What? Okay, that came out wrong. Baby, let's both be strong. I mean, we've known a My future's all planned. I've got some dreams to make true. I thought that you'd understand. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious. Check, please. Buddy, if you could afford to throw away girls like Marilyn, I want your autograph. <laughs> Wow. 
good God, what? Law school is for boring, ugly, serious people. And you, Button, are none of those things. What you want, Button, hey, you just say the word. But what you want's absurd, and costs a whole lot of swag. And how why, Button, when you can stay right here and pursue a film career? East Coast is foreign, there's no film studios. It's cold and dark, no valley parking. All the girls have different noses, God, but it's like the damn frontier. Tell me what's up there that you can get right here. Guys, love! Oh, I'm going for love. Oh, love, I have to win. I can't live without
You can't just barge in here with singing and dancing and ethnic movement. <laughs> this is a very flashy presentation, but I still don't see one reason to admit you. Wait. How about love? <laughs> you ever been in love? Cause if you have, you'll know that love never accepts a defeat. No challenge it can't beat. Sure, bit about ourselves. Aaron Schultz. I won a Fulbright and a Rote. I write financial software codes. But that's a challenge I've outgrown. How many yachts can one man own? Some say that I'm a pompous creep. Somehow I don't lose that much sleep. Why bother with false modesty? Harvard's a perfect place for Impressive, good to know. Welcome to Harvard. What's up? Yo! Nikolai Shmirov, you may call me your majesty. In my country, my birth was law.
with um, Professor Callahan and Warner Huntington III. Well, we're all heading there, so I'm sure someone would be happy to show you. It's in house, over there. Second building on the left. Thank you. But I don't think dogs are exactly allowed in the class. <laughs> Bruiser's not a dog. Bruiser's family. I'll just drop him off in my room. He'd be happier there anyway. Bruiser loves sex in the city. I'll see you later then. <laughs> sitting right where you're sitting, and I have heard all the same rumors that I'm sure you've heard too. Callahan is ruthless. He bathes in the butt of sheep, blah, 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 only partly true. All you really need to know is that it you is very- You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. Now, when you choose a law career, the moment you embark, there is that joke you're bound to hear, a lawyer is a shark. Ignore that, it's simplistic and it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks, just some. The rest are chum. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time you face. Oh, you led me to think you're so 
on top. Oh dear, I fear my comment has offended. Hard to argue that when you're too mad to speak, your employment will be very quickly ended when they see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a billion dollar offer.
So, I'll bring the lobster pot stickers. Perfect. I've got a case of Chardonnay, and that's a party. There's a party? Oh. Hello, Vivian. Hello, Elle. Yeah, next Friday night some people are getting together. Oh, maybe the guy you like will be there. You should go. Definitely come. It's a costume party. I love costume parties. <laughs> of course you do. Next Friday at 8, 2.43 Mass Ave. See you there. Thanks, Vivian. Oh, Elle, you are so borrowing my secret weapon costume. I got it storage. Class, like every day, you don't actually believe you 
you have a chance of getting Callahan's internship. Well, of course. Everyone in that class wants that internship. Nobody more than me. It's a guaranteed career. You're basically partner before you even have a job offer. Hello, Elle. You're looking fluffy, as usual. <laughs> Hello, Vivian. Thanks for the great tip on the costume party. I see you came as last year's sample sale. Pooh <laughs> Bear, I, 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 Elle. You have to ace his class to get that internship. They don't call him C minus Callahan for nothing. Corner, I am completely cognizant of both of those facts. You're not going to make it through the semester, let alone get Callahan's internship. Even if you keep going and going and going. <laughs> Face it, bunny. One of these things is not like the other. Someday, we'll nominate Supreme Court justices, and you'll <laughs> Run home, Elle, and change out of your skank costume. Yes. Is that you, see, Vivian? How unfortunate. Because I am Gloria Steinem, undercover circa 1963, researching for her feminist manifesto, I was a Playboy bunny. Are you really calling Gloria Steinem a skank? Who's calling Gloria Steinem a skank? She is! Wait, wait! We were just gonna do shots! No, 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 no! Whoa, L, what's up? Doc? Um, Excuse me? I put my faith in love. I followed where it led. Love led you here? To my purse and circle of hell. It has not worked out well. I wish that I were dead. Cause instead of wedding and love, I'm flunking out of school, a total laughing stock. Someone he and his can just mock, so go on, here's my head. Just hit it with a rock. Wait, go back. You came out here to follow a man. Harvard Law was just part of that plan. Man, what rich romantic plan are you from? Malibu. Instead of lying outside by the pool, you stalk some guy to an Ivy League school. That's the weirdest reason I... Well, why do you come? Okay. I grew up in the Roxbury slums with my mom and a series of bums. Guys who showed me all the ways a man can fail. I got through law school by busting my ass. Worked two jobs in addition to class. So forgive me for not weeping at her tail. Excuse me, just because you have some kind of chip on your shoulder. You know what? You're right. There's a chip on my shoulder, and it's big as a boulder. With the chance I've been given, I'm gonna be driven as hell. I'm so close I can taste it, so I'm not gonna waste it. Yeah, there's a chip on my shoulder. You might want to get one as well. Hey, I'm just being honest. When you weren't born into privilege, you gotta work twice as hard. And I want my jacket back. Wait, two jobs plus law school? I haven't slept since 1998. Seriously, how do you do it? Well, I don't go to parties a lot. Not good use of the time that I've got. Can't spend hours doing my hair or staying in shape. I don't spend hours. But I know it'll all be worthwhile when I win my first lucrative trial. Buy my mom that great big house out on the Cape. That's so sweet. No, that's the chip on my shoulder. I hugged my mom and told her. With the chance I've been given, I gotta be driven as hell. So I can't take the day off. I just think of the payoff. You need a chip on your shoulder. Little Miss Woods, come on. No, I don't. I just need to prove to everyone that I'm serious. What you need is to get to work. Make yourself at home. 
Hello, Kitty. You drink a lot of Red Bull, don't you? It gives me energy! So you can stay up late studying? Why? I said studying. You do study, right? Where are those law books? Ah, uh, they're under the... Under the... The, the, there's a pile. Pile of? Mm. There! Oh, well, I know they're here somewhere. You know, this fan is real picture-esque, but it started its life as a desk. Clear it off and find some room for books instead. Wait, what are you doing? Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what this is. Wear a hat, spend some time improving what's inside your head. Out, out, put it in storage, some on eBay, leave it behind. Out, out, what are you angry? Good, so get angry, you may find the chip on your shoulder. Oh. The room just got colder. Hey. With the chance we've been given, why are you not driven as hell?
clearly within his rights to ask for visitation. Russell B. Sullivan. But Russell was known to the mother. Vladimir was an anonymous donor. Yes, but without Mr. Vladimir's sperm, the child in question wouldn't exist. Now you're thinking like a lawyer. Yes, Miss Woods. Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point, but did the defendant keep a log of every sperm omission made throughout his life? Interesting. Why do you ask? Well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every sexual encounter to see if a child had resulted from those unions, he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? I see your point. And, by Mr. Huntington's standards, all masturbatory omissions in which the sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be called reckless abandonment. <laughs> Ms. Woods, I believe you've just won your case. Oh my god! We hold on, we just want the case! There's nothing less. It is shaped like a bone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, I mean, and, and, and that kind of devotion can't be ignored. It's easy to find dog friendly chocolate substitutes. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> <sighs> oh, crap. <laughs> it's you. Paulette, get your big caboose off my property. I want to see my dog, Dewey. I got it right, and I bet you didn't even know today's his birthday. Oh, uh, it's your birthday? It's your birthday? Well, you can't see him, Jelly Gut. Best decision I ever made, throwing you out. Ugh. Can you believe I lived with that for 10 years? And the cheapskate never even got me a ring. Oh, they lived together for 10 years. Emmett, you're a genius! Now what? Mr. <laughs> Ten years. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Dewey? Yeah. We are Miss Bonafonte's legal team. Lawyers? I don't think you understand that the great Commonwealth of Massachusetts recognizes your 10-year relationship with Miss Bonafonte as a common law marriage, entitling her to equitable division of property. Um. Translation. <laughs> We're taking a dog! <laughs> Wait, 
Valentine's cookie and he broke a window. He needs extra help. He's posting his internship today. Ladies and gentlemen, I need the best and the brightest. Congrats to the choice few. As for the rest of you, welcome to the middle. Emmett, I'm making you my co-counsel on the Wyndham trial. Prove yourself here and the term associate isn't far off. Yes, sir. We start Monday, 9 a.m. sharp. Make sure everyone dresses appropriately. Emmett, that's so great. I'm so proud of you. Yes, score. Oh, Warner, we got Callahan's internship. What? It's just like we planned. Hey, this is just the beginning. It's perfect. Make this the happiest day of my life. Oh, Warner, it's absolutely stunning. And huge, right? <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes. All of this time I planned, I'd be patient and he would love me again. You come to respect my mind, and at last you find you could love me again. And I have turned my
Crawford, ABD, Vin Book, Winfield Waves, and Tighter Bun. Happily married, so she swears to her 60 year old stud, till stepdaughter came downstairs and found Brooke all covered in his blood. If Brooke took a plea, I'd have her out in three to four. But she claims she did not kill him, did she? Let's watch some more. Hi, Miss Wyndham. I'm Emmett Forrest, and I'm co-counsel with Stidwell, Soskowski, Fox, and Callahan. These four interns are the cream of the crop at Harvard Law, and we're here to whip up your legal defense. Okay. <laughs> Incidentally, my mom is a big fan of your DVDs. She credits you with her nutcracker butt. Her words, not mine. Anywho. We'd love to discuss your case and go over a few options. We'd like to free you as soon as possible so you can bring your message back to your fans. Great, that's all I want. This should be easy. Great. Callahan briefed me on your case, and there seems to be a significant amount of evidence against you. To free you, the jury will need to hear an alibi. Not gonna happen. Even though it could save you? Yep, put me on the stand and I'll be forced to lie. Okay, Miss Wynn. If you can't hear an alibi, you should accept a plea bargain. And admit to something I didn't do? But with a plea bargain, you get out in a couple of years. That sounds reasonable, right? Reasonable to do time for my husband's killer. Not really. <laughs> oh, 
Shadow. Stop. Yo, sister! Yo! Not related. I need a legal team who knows I'm innocent. Get out of here, all of you. Guard! Who, who is a girl with loyal friends and true? Who, who? Who, who has a bond as strong as crazy glue? Who, who? Who can sound the call when sisters all come through? Who, who? Delta Nu, 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 Delta Nu, 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 you are a Delta Nu. Delta Nu, 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 Delta Nu, 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 you are a Delta Nu! Oh my God! Delta Nu's former UCLA president, Elle Woods. I knew I recognized your mugshot. Shut up! Oh yeah, your DVD's got me in shape to be June in the Girls of UCLA calendar. That is so great. Thank God someone on this legal team gets me. Sisterhood's forever. I believe you, Brooke. And I will fight with everything I have to clear your good name. But that involves an alibi. I can't tell it. Come on, Brooke, we all have our secrets. For years, I denied my highlights. <laughs> it's beyond highlights, Elle. It's a disgrace. My secret is nuclear, and if it gets out, I could lose my fitness empire, which means everything to me. If I tell you, will you Delta New sister swear not to tell anyone? Oh, I will double Delta New sister swear. <laughs> Oh, you're hardcore, okay. <laughs> the day that my husband was killed, I was getting... <laughs> what? <laughs> you're gonna have to speak... Liposuction! Minimally invasive outpatient lipo, but lipo! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it! Serious cottage cheese was showing up on my bun! Your secret is safe with me! The bands are counting on me, Elle! You gotta protect me! You can't let me down! Well, there you are. Where's Brooke? The guards took her back. Great. But I got her alibi. You're kidding. So what is it? Well, I'm afraid I can't tell you. Why not? I double Delta New sisters swore not to. Elle, this is not some little sorority thing. Oh, I know. It's a big sorority thing. But don't worry. Brooke really had nothing to do with this. Think about it. Brooke? is a fitness queen. Exercise gives you endorphins. And endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't kill. Emmett, a word. Elle, are you serious? If you don't give up this alibi, we will all lose the case. Well, then I guess we're not very good lawyers. Will you stop being a Marilyn L? Listen, I, 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 I meant L. Callahan wants that alibi. Give it to him and you can sail through law school, knowing there's a big fat job offer waiting for you when you get out. But I gave Brooke my word. So what? Who cares? Who cares? Emmett, let me be very clear. This is your chance and I gave you simple instructions. Leave this legal team and get me an alibi. You're zero for two. Everyone, field trip's over. Let's go back to work. Except you two. I would rather not see Ratty Corduroy or Legally Blonde again today. Emmett, I'm sorry. I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to tell me the alibi. I can't because I gave Brooke my word. Having an alibi isn't the only way to win this case. No, but it sure would help. Work with me. We'll free Brooke the right way, the noble way. This isn't a Lifetime original movie, Elle. I'm not interested in nobility right now. I'm more interested in saving Brooke's life. No, you're not. You're more interested in impressing Callahan. Well, he is my boss, and if I impress him, he'll make me associate. And jeopardize your client's trust and our integrity? Well, when you put it that way. Exactly, you butthead. My word means something, and I know yours does too. No one has called me a butthead since the third grade. Maybe not to your face. Come on, let's get out of here. Why do you always have to be right? I don't have to be. When I'm with you, I just am. Hey, if you want to impress Callahan, I can help. A 
Okay. Huh. Listen, I love your scruffy vibe, but casual Friday is so not in Callahan's vocabulary. And you have to dress the part if you want to get ahead. Oh. Didn't your mother ever teach you about not judging a book by its cover? She did. And books with tattered covers stay on the shelf. Thanks a lot. Emmett, this isn't a perfect world. I think people haven't judged me my whole life. I think it wasn't a good idea to make Navy my new pink. No, that was a good idea. I know. Where are we going exactly? You trust me, don't you? Of course. Well, don't stop now. What is this place? It's called a department store. It's, it's beautiful.
Are you sure you don't want me to paint little gavels on it for you? It's okay, Paulette. That might be a bit too much. All right, classy lawyer paint it is. When those jury people see your nails, they'll know they can trust you. Which is more than my team is doing. They're all over me to give up Brooke's alibi. Including your friend, Emmett? Well, he is on the team too. In more ways than one. <laughs> I've seen the way he looks at you. Paulette, he's just my friend. Oh, right, and I could use a friend like that. I've got a package for Miss Paulette Bonafonte. <laughs> the name's Kyle. This is my new room in first off of the day. Kind of cool crown, huh? <laughs>
that you? Elf took me shopping. Chop one up for Elf. Emmett, you look sharp. In day three of the Brook Window Murder Trial, D.A. Joyce Riley has been grilling Nico's Archer Tacos. Miss Windows Pool Boy all morning. The water's been good nicely. Let's hope the defense team packed their floaties. Katie. Which is why you should clarify for the court what exactly were your duties as pool boy? Cleaning the pool. <laughs> and could you explain to the court what exhibit A is? That was my uniform. And was it Brooke's idea to have you wear this uniform? Yes. And could you explain to the court what exactly your relationship was to the defendant? Brooke and I were love. No further questions. He was your lover? Oh no, a Delta Nu would never sleep with a man in a thong. I just like washing and clean the filter. Unbelievable. You're making me look like an ass out there. Your Honor, I request a 10 minute recess. Granted. Oh, excuse me, I'll take this outside. Why wasn't I told about this disaster? All right, it's a minor setback. It's motive, Emmett. Hey, Paulette, what's up? Elm, um, I just had to call and thank you. The bend and snap worked. I may have broke Kyle's nose, but I got to spend four hours with him in the ambulance and at the ER. Oh, it was the most romantic time I ever had in my whole life. Paulette, that's so great. I told you, the bend and snap is infallible, unless the guy's gay or something. Yeah. Oh my god, I gotta go, bye. Bye.
the sky. I've got an idea I'd like to try. The floor is yours. Mr. Archie Tacos, this alleged affair with Miss Wyndham has been going on for? Two years. And your first name again is? Nikos. And your boyfriend's name is? Carlos. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I misunderstand. You say boyfriend. I thought you said best friend. Carlos. He's my best friend. You bastard! You lying bastard! That's it! I'm not coming for you! No more, peoples! I have big announcement! This man is gay and you're a man! Oh, is this great? You've got to stop your being a completely closet case. It's me, my heart, you see. No matter what he say, I swear he never, ever, ever swing the other way. Victory with L. To Emmett. And I can't believe I'm saying this. To L. To, to L. L. Yeah, since when did a bind me to the gaydar qualify as a legal victory? But without that gaydar, we wouldn't be celebrating the champagne. We'd be dead in the water. Elle Woods trusts her gut and has more smarts than most on my staff, making her a good lawyer. And while we'd still love to hear that alibi she got, she never once compromised her client's trust, making her a great one. Which is more than I can say about you, Warner. Be useful. Go get me a coffee. But we're drinking champagne. Splenda and skim. As for the rest of you, please go home and get a good night's rest. I need you all sharp tomorrow morning. Ms. Woods, a word please? Of course. I'll catch up with you in a minute. And thank you, Professor Callahan, for what you said before. It meant a lot. You deserved it. But don't tell the other law students I said so. I have a scary reputation to uphold. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. But I really have appreciated getting to work with you. I've learned so much. It's not about what you've learned. It's about instincts. And instincts can't be taught. Trust your instincts. But you are smarter than that. Is this the only reason you gave me the internship? It's been nice working with you, Ms. Woods. You can show yourself out. Well, hello, Marilyn. Looks like you'll need a partner now. You really earned it. Warner, shut up.
There she is, intern of the year.
States of the law student, Ms. Elwoods, may represent the defendant in criminal proceedings. Only if she has a licensed attorney to supervise, and without me, she does not. I'm licensed, Your Honor, and I'll gladly supervise. Like hell you will. You work for me, remember? No, I work for myself. And I don't have to hit on interns, Professor. Enjoy prison, Miss Wyndham. Okay, bye! <laughs> Thank you, Emmett. Did you really think I was just gonna let you get away? Uh, Miss Woods, any day now you may proceed. Call your first witness. We call Miss Chutney Wyndham to the stand. <laughs> Your Honor, I would like to go to the bathroom. 
Shouldn't you have gone before the murder trial? <laughs> no, I mean, I'd like us all to go to the bathroom together. Why do girls always do that? <laughs> I mean, I'd like us all to go to the bathroom where this alleged shower took place. I'll allow it, Miss Woods. Barely 